In the last video, we saw how to address a single element at a time. Let's now look at addressing multiple matrix elements. We will start by declaring the following matrices. If you would like to practice entering these matrices yourself, feel free to pause the video. Let's move over to MATLAB. I have already declared the two matrices that we need. We're going to start with an example using linear indexing because the syntax is a little bit simpler. To index multiple elements, we simply supply a vector in the indexing statement. So for example, to index the first three elements of A, we could use A, open parentheses, open square bracket, one, two, three, close square bracket, close parentheses. Notice that we're declaring a matrix inside these parentheses. Running this command, we get the result 7, 23, 8, which is the first three elements of the row vector. This also works with matrices. For example, let's say we now have the matrix B that consists of the following values. We can now select the first two rows of the matrix by using the command B, open parentheses, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Notice that what we're really saying here is that we want rows 1 and 2 and the columns 1, 2, and 3. Let's run this command. Notice that we get this 2 by 3 matrix that contains the first two rows of the matrix B. Typing out each index is time consuming, so let me introduce the colon operator. The colon operator is very useful for indexing, and we will look at a few different ways in which it works. For starters, we're going to use the operator to create a vector of numbers. The basic syntax here is j colon k. This creates a unit space row vector with elements of j, j plus 1, j plus 2, and so on until the value reaches k. Right, let's switch over to MATLAB. I'm going to clear my screen by typing in the command clc. Now let's create a vector i containing numbers from 1 to 3. The command is i equals 1 colon 3. Notice that this gives us the vector 1, 2, and 3. We can now use this vector i as our index. So going back to our first example, we can index a row vector a with the command a, open parentheses i, close parentheses, and get the first three elements once again. I just want to point out that we don't have to declare a matrix for the index. We could just type in a 1 colon 3. Remember from the precedence rules that MATLAB evaluates statements in parentheses first. So the 1 colon 3 will be turned into a vector, which is then used to index the matrix A. We can also use the colon operator to index the matrix B. So let's say we want the first two rows again. We can enter B, open parentheses, 1 colon 2. And this is something a little bit new. We can use the colon operator on its own for the column. If the colon operator is used on its own in an indexing operation, MATLAB understands that this means you want every element in that dimension. So this command means rows 1 and 2 in every column. Let's run it. Now, just as an example, let's say we want to retrieve the second column of matrix B. What do you think the command will be? If your answer was B, open parentheses, colon, comma, 2, then you are right. Here, this indexing operation means every row, column 2. As a quick summary, the colon operator is very useful for indexing operations. You can use it to create a range of numbers to specify multiple elements, or you can use the colon operator on its own to select every element along a matrix dimension. 